Well, you know that person who, no matter where they go, they always seem to find themselves in the middle of drama. And, of course, they'll protest, I didn't go looking for trouble. It's just amazing how trouble always seems to find them. I'm speaking, of course, of Independent Senator Lydia Thorpe, who's had a big five or six weeks. In the last five or six weeks, she's removed herself from the Greens Party. Police removed her from the pavement at the World Pride Parade. She dropped the F-bomb, didn't mean to, in the Senate. She was pulverised, her words, by police outside Parliament. House and today she accused Liberal Senator Holly Hughes of racially vilifying her. Here's how it went down. I want to acknowledge the traditional owners and custodians of the lands. Is that racism? Is that racism? Can I just call out racism in this chamber right now, please? I'm making a point of order that I'm in my workplace and I don't need racists being racist to me while I'm reading my speech. Can you please make sure that I am not targeted with racism while I'm trying to do my job, please? Now, the Senate microphone didn't pick it up, but while Lydia Thorpe was giving her acknowledgement of country, one of many acknowledgement of countries in the Senate that day, Holly Hughes was heard to say, how many times has that happened today? For context, it was 10.30pm or thereabouts at night. We've all been in meetings where many acknowledgement of countries have been given, so many of us would be able to identify it wasn't so much racism as exasperation. As the father of black children, I hate racism, but if there's one thing I really hate, it's people who trivialise or minimalise racism because when everything is racist, nothing is racist. And when you throw around charges of racism like confetti, when real racism happens, people are tempted to roll their eyes and say, oh, well, everything's racist these days. If Lydia Thorpe demands attention, which it seems like she does, I'd much rather she got it lying in front of floats at the Pride Parade or crawling through the grass, because then at least it's all about and only about her. But if you claim to care about racism and then pull stunts like this, you not only make yourself look stupid, Liz, but you do a disservice to everybody else in the community. You do, but what was the highlight of this entire exchange was Holly Hughes' pushback. This woman is my new spirit animal. She is absolutely based. Most people these days accused of racism will retract the statement, which is exactly what Lydia thought wanted. What does Holly do? Watch and see. I don't think it's appropriate for Senator Thorpe to be referring to anyone in this place as racist, and I would ask her to withdraw. I would ask her to withdraw. Senator that is absolutely inappropriate, and I will not be referred to by you as anything, Se Senator, let alone Senator that. Hughes. The constant reference to Australians who are born here from a different heritage referred to as colonisers is not helpful in Se any okay. way. Se so Senator Holly Hughes, thank you for saying what we're all thinking. This is how you handle yeah. these aggressors constantly posing as victims. That simple pushback, I'm not having a bar of mm. this, and you can take a pack-a-cut lunch because I'm taking mm -hmm. you to town on mm -hmm. this. Absolutely, Absolutely loved it. That is a textbook perfect definition of how to deal with these bullies. Can I just say, though... Is that ageism? You went to Liz before me, James. Is that ageism? <laughs> I want an apology from you, James, seriously. But this is like, this is completely in character for Lydia Thorpe. You might have seen this story today that apparently last week in Canberra Airport, Lydia Thorpe has come across a 79 year old woman. Bear this in mind, she's 79. Auntie Pat Anderson who's been told that there's a problem with her ticket and therefore she can't get on the plane. And Lydia, for some reason, thinks it's a good idea to heckle a 79-year-old Aboriginal elder and go, where's your voice now? You need the voice. Where's your voice now? I mean, A, it doesn't make any sense, but it's just utterly bizarre behaviour. And she was then pulled up by some other people who said, like, come on, woman, this is an elder here. Leave her alone. And then she apparently goes on to say, well, there's no elder here. Where's the elder? She's not my elder. I mean, can you think of a loopier person than Lydia Thorpe, uh, you know, loopy Lydia. Th that is what she has become. She is a laughing stock. And if she thinks she's doing any good for her cause or the cause of Aboriginal people in this country, she's got rocks in her head. And yet this is the same woman who so indignantly asked the Senate just a matter of weeks ago this very question. What kind of person do you think I am? 
Ah, uh, the kind of person who, uh, on another occasion, had another Indigenous elder in tears in her office late last year. Here's the article. Her chief of staff at the time, which didn't last much longer than this, said it was some of the most appalling behaviour they'd seen in the entirety of their professional life. We don't know the details, but we know that this Indigenous elder left very upset and Lydia was not forthcoming with an apology. So this is not, none of these are one-offs. And yet she has the gall to say to us, who do you think I am? They're certainly not one-offs. And I, I reckon, Caleb, you're right. We could have a regular scene. Oh, yeah, Loopy Lydia. Bring it <laughs> on. Loopy Lydia. Get the graphic Loopy, going. Loopy Lydia. Loony. You know, we, we could just do entire programs on it. We just get rid of the rest of the show. Let's just do that every night.